Hi, my name is Melissa Dye. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I have been working in this field since about 2007. Um, I got my undergraduate degree in psychology from the University of Wise in Virginia and started working in, with intellectual disabilities and with children's services and then later decided to go back and get my master's in social work so I was be able to provide therapy. After leaving the school-based um, services where I was working, I went on to work at an inpatient uh, psychiatric hospital for about four and a half years. Um, during that time, I started working part-time and outpatient uh, with children and adults. Um, in about 2013, started working more outpatient. Then about 2016, I went full-time with outpatient therapy. Uh, during that time that I've been working in outpatient therapy, I have specialized in substance abuse and, and trauma. Um, trauma-related um, situations to where, whether it may be through abuse or it may be through um, tragic uh, instances of losing a loved one. Um, trauma is different for each and every one of us. Um, what you and I may consider trauma may not be trauma to someone else. And our trauma may be um, something completely different but it traumatizes us and we need to reach out to that person to process it. Working with families, um, like uh, my youngest patient has been three and I think my oldest patient has been 87. So I have experience across the lifespan. Each person has a different story. So on that first time when you're coming to, to see me, I wanna hear your story. I wanna hear what's important to you. And so, um, we have learned that you know through covid that we started working with telehealth and telehealth has always been something that we could do for several years but we haven't taken advantage of it and then when the covid when covid happened and we were quarantined or we were social distancing we began to rely on telehealth and that way we realized that we could reach out more people i learned that i was able to reach out to people who normally would not have had the ability to talk to someone. So with that, um, we became interested in the services that was provided through integrative health centers. We are pairing with, behavior, uh, with Paris Behavioral Health through Henry County. And um, we also have uh, a colleague who is a psychiatric nurse practitioner that is working with Paris Behavioral Health as well to provide medication services. And, you know, it may be a little different if you've not participated in telehealth before, um, but it gives us the ability to reach out. I'm actually from Virginia. I said, um, down in the tip of Virginia, if any of you are familiar with the Bristol Speedway with NASCAR, which is in the corner of Tennessee, I'm about 30 minutes from there. So from Henry County, I'm probably about seven hours away but I'm closer to most of Tennessee than I am to Virginia. But with being able to provide telehealth, we're able to reach out this way. Um, it may be a little different. You know, you're gonna come into the office and they're gonna have a telehealth computer set up so that you can reach me. Um, they will know how to connect. Um, if, you know, providing services from home, if you have a busy work schedule or there's times that you can participate at home, we have the ability to do so to let you um, attend your, your session from home. So there's a lot of different ways that, that we can connect and it makes things more accessible. But I, I look forward to getting to know you and um, getting to know your story and going forward with, with Paris Behavior Health. And thank you.